So, Chris, apart from you know seventy five thousand followers on LinkedIn, apart from um, you know you, you're you've got a military background, you know, how did you get to cyber in the first place? Oh, oh man, it's it again. It kept me from the gaming. I hate losing. I, I'm just not good at that. I mean, you know as well. I mean, we go back to like ZX eighty, ZX eighty one days, and the Commodore sixty four and the old Atari systems. You know, you'd load up the cartridge, you'd yep. start the game and as your suit Larry or whatever the heck it was. For me, it was Texas Hold'em. Yep. I hated losing a Texas Hold'em, but I figured out what the program was. You know, as you buy the magazine, go through it and figure out how to do the encoding. So I loaded up the program, figured out what it was and figured out how to actually make it do what I wanted to do. I win billions apparently at that point yep. in time. So it all came down to that. And, and unfortunately that led into breaking into a bank and getting yelled at by the bank people. Oh, and you know, like, oh yeah. I was young. My father and I didn't see eye to eye. It was actually he who had me arrested. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We did not see eye to eye too well. So I broke into the bank, took money out of his account and put it into another account. Ah. Yeah. Not, not something any, any, what was I, 15, 14, 15 years old at the time. I suppose yeah. if, if, if you're going to, if you're going to try out stealing yeah. money, you might as well steal it from your parents. You keep it in the family. It was easier that yeah. way. But yeah, it was, it was that. And it just, it just kind of went from there and it was, for me, it was, it was the tinkering. It was the, it's the hacking mentality. It was like, let me take a look at how it works. What can I do differently? How can I do it differently? How can I make it do maybe what I want it to do? And that, you know, that all started off on these systems. And then we put networks in place, and modems, and then I could go do it with the other people's computers and systems and stuff. And then, you know, it just, it just kept on going from there. And, you know, as you said, I went in the military and jumped out of airplanes and did crazy things for a living. Hence the the Help for Heroes uh, sweatshirt and all the other goodies I got yeah. going on as well. And a lot of that was, you know, I came out of the military afterwards, um, went back into the industry, IT tech support, and then kind of got yelled at again a few times and ended up, uh, what I ended up with is basically one foot in the military, uh, one foot in the government, and one foot back in the civilian world and, and just kept on going from there. And, 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 and then, you know, that's what, that's what got, you the, got you the bug, the itch. Yeah, and it's and, you know, and and for me it was, you know, we. I'm fortunate. I grew up with the industry. You know, I, I'm fortunate. Yeah. You know, yeah. like the early days of DEFCON and the early days of CDC. I mean, there's my cult of the dead cow patch right there for crying out loud from the early early days. Oh. And so I grew up with the industry. So I kind of I fit in, and I just I, you know we all carve niches for ourselves. Yeah. We all figured out how to work our own magic inside various companies or agencies or whatever else it was. And, and eventually the world went, you're a pain in the ass, but we need you. Therefore, if you could actually maybe get out of the basement once every 48 hours to come say hi to us and, that, that's and you, you take a shower once a week, it'd be nice. And, yeah. you know, and, and that's, and, and in the end it was like, Oh, well, and then we grew up and we got families and we ended up building our own companies and doing our crazy, yeah. crazy things. And, and, we became more legitimate as an industry. And so yeah. I mean, you know, always just kept on going with it from there. And then, it's, so, so I guess the natural progression then is, is, uh, is joining an organization like Signet, you know, yeah. massive investment recently, you know, $40 million, um, recruited some 64 people in the last, the, the last, last quarter. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's actually, it's beautiful to see. It's because there are some amazing, amazing people. And what I love about it as well is there's some amazing people like in the UK, in, in Israel, in Italy, in the US. I mean, there's, there's folks all over the place. It's really, really nice to see some amazing people in it. Right. So I guess in terms of like you, your, your personal development and where, where you are as an individual, you going on your cyber journey, taking you to the next level, sign it. Must yeah, be. It, it was it was interesting because I mean I've I've been fortunate I've I've built my own companies I've done some good things I've done some stupid things and they're publicly available to find out and learn from preferably, um, but for me it was I was still kind of on the outside throwing rocks at the establishment yeah. whatever they're putting it, and sometimes it's easy to get in and hold the establishment accountable, and what I loved about Signet is is their focus you know it, it's that mission before money thing which is what I love yep. yes we're all going to make money we're all going to put money on the table. You're right. We've got a big investment. Somebody's yeah. going to have to get paid at the end yeah. of it, but not at the expense of morals and not at the expense of doing the right thing. Yeah. They're not going for trophy companies. They don't want the yeah. Fortune 500 on the wall with a little plaque under it as to who killed them and do whatever they did. 
they care about everybody else. They're going after the smaller companies that don't have the necessary budget or the necessary teams of people to help look after yeah. them and make them more secure. And, and that's what I love about it. It's that whole, let's do the right thing for the right people. Yeah. Well, you know, from a UK perspective, if you look at something like, you know, 60%, 65% of all the companies in the UK are, are SMEs. Yeah. You know, and SMEs are largely overlooked by the, by the big players. I, I'd sat in dinners at RSA where there are some very, very big people and said, we just don't care. They don't make us enough money. You know, we're going to focus on the top 5% and we make 80% of our revenue there. I'm like, well, who the hell's going to look after you? You know, they had 130,000 clients they just didn't care about. I'm yeah. like, you suck. I, I, unfortunately, I understand it purely from a money standpoint, but I don't from a moral. Our job in security... Yeah is protection. That's it. That's our job. Uh, the military we protect, civilian life we protect. And that's, that's what it should be. And I think that's what yeah. a lot of time it folks is. It's all about how do we actually help protect organizations more effectively? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Cause it's the same threat actor that's, that's, that's hitting the small guys as, as the PLC. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. Well, I mean, it's easier to hit the small guys cause they don't have effective security. They don't have enough budget. They don't have enough people to deal with it. Yeah. And unfortunately, the technology that the big folks, the PLC, have actually been out, that stuff's stunning expensive. Yeah. And you can't afford to go and spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on a couple of firewalls and, and ignore the rest. It just doesn't work. Yeah. So again, you look at the scale, take the best of what they have, consolidate yeah. it, simplify it, and hand it as a single integrated platform to somebody who doesn't have enough hands or enough eyes and give them that visibility. Yeah. Can't ask for a better, I can't ask for a better mission to be roughly honest. Brilliant. Brilliant. I know we're going to cover a lot of those things off and mm. and following, following videos, but just before we finish up for the, for the day, how did your 75,000 followers on LinkedIn um, cope with you getting a proper job? I think most of them have been okay with it because <clears throat> I mean, <coughs> for a couple of reasons, one, because they know me well enough. And they know simply the fact that I'm not going to compromise. And that was one of the big conversations I had with the sign folks. I mean, Al and I, Dari and I, and everybody else. I mean, this is probably one of the few marketing teams that I can have an hour-long conversation and not come out of it ready to kill somebody. Yeah. I freaking love it. I love the fact that they care they're up to do it the right way. So that has been pretty much like communicated to everybody that follows me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and everybody everywhere else. It's like, hey, I'm going in to fix it from the inside. You can hold me accountable still. If I screw up, you you know my number. You know yeah. where to find me. And um, it's been nice because everything we've put out so far in the last couple of weeks has been done the right way. Yeah. And so I think, Good. you know, and again, you know, Sinus and Israeli company, they don't have a huge following in the US and a few other countries. So we have the opportunity to do it right. And I think that's the nice thing about it is they're willing to listen and do it right. And I mean, that's why we're building the CISO community. That's why we're doing the round tables. I put a post out about the CISO community and everybody is like, oh, hell yes. And I'm like, yes, we can yeah. do it right. They're getting it. Somebody's getting it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> Brilliant. Well, what, what we would love to do, we'd love to show, any, you know, anyone that's watching, show them some sign up uh, technology in a little bit more more detail. Um, we can spin up some demos, just have a have a bit of a chat. Just, you know, just, just follow the link below. We're doing a, a series of uh, four four short videos in total, and this is like the first of of four. So, listen, Chris, that's ab absolutely brilliant. R really uh, delighted to to uh, be joined by this by today, and uh, You're doing here, definitely. look forward to to catching up in the next one. Oh yeah, absolutely. With whiskey as well, it'll be good. Ah, right. Got 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 to cheers to that. My <laughs> 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 cheers.